Hello friends, this video on triangles part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's talk about inequalities now. See, things need not be equal. For example, when I say 4 is greater than 3. This is an inequality sign. 4 is not equal to 3. Similarly, let's suppose there are two lines. This line is AB and this line segment is, let's suppose, CD. I can say that the length of line segment AB is greater than the length of line segment CD. Similarly, we can have two angles. This angle is 60 degree. This will be greater than 30 degree. So let's suppose this angle is ABC and DEF. We can say that angle ABC is greater than angle DEF. Similarly, we can have the inequality concept in the case of triangles. We can say that this triangle is bigger than this triangle. This triangle is suppose PQR. This is let's suppose STU. We can say that triangle PQR is greater than triangle STU. Till now, what we have been studying was the congruency of the triangles. Now we are talking about the inequalities of the triangles. Okay, so let's take one activity here. Let's draw one angle and let's try to draw multiple triangles. So if you see here, let this be BC and let this be A, so be A dash, A double dash. Okay. Now if you see that this triangle A double dash BC, triangle A double dash BC is greater than triangle A dash BC and that is greater than triangle ABC. You can observe this triangle ABC is smallest, then triangle A dash BC, then triangle A double dash BC. Okay. Also, you see the angle also, right? This angle is smallest. Angle 3 is greater than angle 2 is greater than angle 1. Also, we see the length A double dash B is greatest, then A dash B, and then A. So, you observe that the length of side AB increases, the angle opposite to this also increases. If we compare these two data, these two data, okay. So if you observe these two data, you'll see that if you increase the angle, if you increase the angle, or if you increase its length, the angle also increases. That is the observation. You can conclude from this activity. You can actually draw this paper. Okay. So with this, we conclude that the side is directly proportional to opposite angle. If you increase the opposite side, the this is the opposite angle, you see, right? If you increase the opposite side, the opposite angle increase. So you increase the side from AB to A dash B, the angle increase from 1 to 2. Increase the side from AB to A double dash B, the opposite angle increase from 1 to 3. Okay. Let's take one more activity. So let's draw one triangle with two unequal sides. And let the name be A, B, and C, where A, C is greater than A, B. And now you observe that opposite angle of A, C is let's suppose angle 1. And opposite angle of A, B is angle 2. You see that angle 1 is greater than angle 2. This is draw. And this is observe. The same thing which we were trying to conclude in the previous activity. Okay, so bigger the side, the bigger is the opposite angle. Smaller the side, smaller is the opposite angle. Bigger side AC, bigger opposite angle angle one. Smaller side AB, smaller angle two. Smaller side AB, smaller angle two. Okay, so the observation is that angle opposite to the greater side is greatest. And the angle opposite to the smaller side is the smallest. So in this case, triangle with two unequal sides. These are two unequal sides. Okay. So 
whatever we have discussed till now, that is a theorem actually. Since this is a theorem, we have to prove it. And the theorem is if two sides of a triangle are unequal, then the angle opposite to the longer side is larger. So let's suppose there is a triangle ABC. Okay. So given AC is greater than AB. That is given. So we have to prove what? So we have to prove that angle opposite to AC is angle B. Angle B is greater than angle C. Okay, this angle is angle B. This is angle C. If you mark it as angle 1, this is angle 2. Or angle 1 is greater than angle 2. That is what we have to prove. To prove this, let's draw a line of the length AB. Okay, using compass, you can do that. And this line will actually touch this point somewhere here, any point. But these two lengths are equal. Anyway, and let's mark this as D. Now since AB is equal to AD, this is angle 1, this will also be equal to angle 1. But let's mark it, let's say it's 1 dash. Angle 1 is equal to angle 1 dash. Okay. And let this be angle 3. This much. So by the exterior angle property, angle 1 dash is what? Angle 2 plus angle instead of 1 dash, I can see that angle 1 is equal to angle 2 plus angle 3. Correct? With this, I can say that angle 1 is greater than angle 3. Why? Because angle 1 is angle 2 plus some extra part. This is extra. That means angle 1 is greater than angle 2 and that is what I have to prove. Pretty easy. Right? Just draw a line which is same as this length. To do this, what you can do, you can take a compass, measure this length your needle here and just draw an arc and then join this point A and B. Okay. So here we'll do a more activity. Here we'll draw a scalene triangle. So in this triangle, all the sides are of equal length. So let's suppose A, B, C. So in this case, it looks like BC is the biggest side, is greater than AB and is greater than AC. BC is the biggest side. So here we have to, we will see that since BC is the greatest side, angle A is greatest and then opposite to angle AB is angle C and then opposite to angle uh, line AC is angle B. This is what we will observe. We will try this, draw a triangle with all the three sides equal length scale and triangle okay. and then you see that the angle opposite to the greatest side is greatest and the angle opposite to the smallest side is smallest that is the activity you can try you can try on the piece of paper and observe this this is a theorem in any triangle the side opposite to the larger the greatest angle is greatest so we have to prove it okay let's do that Draw a triangle. Okay. So this is A, B, C. Assuming AC is longest. AC is largest. Okay. That is given. To prove AC is largest, you have to prove that angle B is max. Okay, let's try to do this. So, what we can do is the same thing, we can draw a line BD such that AB and ED are draw line BD such that AB is equal to AD. This triangle, this length will be equal, this angle will be equal, this is angle 1, this will be angle 1 dash. Give this points to and let this be angle 3. Okay, so here angle 1 is equal to angle 2, sorry, 1 dash. Why? Because AD is equal to AB by construction. 
what we have to prove is that this angle B is maximum. Okay, so if you see here, angle 1 dash is nothing but angle 2 plus angle 3. Okay, okay. so with this, angle 1 dash is equal to angle 2 plus 3, I'll replace 1 dash with 1 because 1 dash is equal to 1, so I can say that angle 1 is equal to angle 2 plus 3. So with this, I can say that angle 1 is greater than angle 2, correct? If angle 1 is greater than angle 2, angle 1 plus angle 3 has to be greater than angle 2, because I am just adding something on this side. And angle 1 plus angle 3 is what? Angle B. Angle B is greater than angle 2. Similarly, I can prove that angle B is greater than this angle. Okay. Okay. Thus we have seen that in this case we have considered two sides AC and AB. AC was longer and the angle opposite to AC is angle B was greater than the angle opposite to angle uh, angle opposite line AB that is angle 2 and that is what we have to do. Since we can do similarly we can do for other sides as well. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.